Hello all and uh, welcome to my next uh, unboxing as we go through these uh, Storm Collectible Street Fighter characters. Um, I did Guile in the first one and uh, this time we're going to take, uh, take a look at Shin Akuma. Uh, this is out of the Street Fighter V version of Shin Akuma. Um, I wasn't planning on getting this one and I did because at the time it was kind of the only Akuma I could find. Um, I wanted just regular Akuma. Um, couldn't really find it, so kind of had to settle for uh, settle for Shin Akuma. Hopefully, eventually, I find um, just a regular Akuma. Not from Street Fighter V, though. Um, I don't like his look in Street Fighter V. I think it looks kind of dumb. I just like the classic kind of hair that you're kind of seeing on the head sculpts here. Um, after I posted the last video, I got a text from a friend pretty quickly. It kind of asking me just about my, my thoughts on Street Fighter in general and why I didn't, I didn't get more of these. Um, I only got the, the three, the, um, uh, the Guile, the Akuma, and then the Sagat we're going to open next time. Um, I like Street Fighter. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Um, I like playing it. My thing with Street Fighter is I just don't really connect with a lot of its characters or story as much as I do Tekken or Mortal Kombat. Um, I think Tekken and Mortal Kombat kind of have done better and evolved more as stories and stuff with their characters than Street Fighter ever really has. Not saying Street Fighter hasn't tried and done a little bit of that. Um, but I don't know why so many of their characters really still feel like um, just kind of stale and not really... Uh, they're just kind of pastish cardboard cutouts. And, I, and every fighting game has that. You're going to have your Bruce Lee archetype. You're going to have your um, cocky kind of American archetype. You're going to have the kickboxer, the Muay Thai guy. They all have that. I just think Street Fighter has kind of been the one to lag behind the most in terms of actually developing forward and uh, kind of just as a game progressing. Um, I think a lot of their characters are the more the most bland ones out of any fighting game. I think their story is one of the more convoluted ones out of any fighting game, um, especially with their stories taking out of place. I think uh, not counting like your alpha games and stuff like that. I think it's like Street Fighter 1, 2, 4, 5, 3. Like, it's just all kind of out of place, um, which confuses a lot of new people. Um, so I, it's more like the way Street Fighter's been handled that I don't like than anything. Um, and I know that's going to be an unpopular opinion, because as a fighting game, it's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Um, but in terms of its story and its characters, I've just never really uh, liked a lot of them. Um, the reason I got Guile in the first video that I did was because I do like Guile's backstory of, like, he's trying to figure out what happened to his friend. And there's something there more than just, uh, you know, just kind of a bland personality. It's like a guy on an actual mission. With Akuma, I'd say there's a little bit more blandness to Akuma. Just in terms of, uh, he's just kind of all-around darker badass trying to prove he is the best amongst everybody. That being said, I think it's done better than a lot of the other characters with similar motives in Street Fighter. Like a Ryu or a Ken or somebody trying to prove they're the best. I think he's kind of the one with the most charisma out of that group of guys. Um, and I've just always liked Akuma's look. Uh, I just like the look. I kind of like his character. Um, I'll talk about why I like Sagat um, when I get to that one. Because Sagat's my favorite character by far. I think Akuma would be like the way distant second. Uh, and I have a reason for that, and I'll explain it, because um, I think Sagat, more than any character, is kind of a microcosm of what is actually good with the characters and story of Street Fighter. Um, maybe not so much Guile and Akuma, but I think Sagat is. And so there'll be more positives when I kind of talk about Sagat in terms of how good Street Fighter could be. And I think that's another thing, is like, I think it can always be better. It just feels like they always hold it back with a lot of the more blandy kind of not-as-interesting kind of stuff. Um, but... Uh, enough of that little mini soapbox. Here's the Shin Akuma. Like I said, I'd like to get the uh, regular Akuma at some point with the uh, red hair. Um, but this is uh, going to have to suffice until then. This is a Comic-Con 2018 exclusive. Um, the guy that had this, I don't know where he got it from. I don't know if he actually got it from Comic-Con or not. Uh, but he was getting rid of a lot of stuff. He was, This was one of them. He had a lot of other Street Fighter characters um, that I just wasn't going to get. But Akuma was one of the ones I was going to get. So, cool. Uh, so... This is a Shinokuma Street Fighter V version. There's inside. We got the back of the box there. And we got there. So yeah, let's go and pop this guy open. 
Uh, I hope, I, I'm sure they all do, these Street Fighter characters. I'm interested to see what his, like, background is going to be. Because we had the uh, the Air Force thing with Guile from that stage in Street Fighter 2, so that was cool. I haven't played a lot of Street Fighter 5. I played some. Um, so I don't know if this is going to come with, like, an older one, or is it going to come with one from Street Fighter 5? How is that going to work? Um, actually, I think we're about to find out. There we go. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm going to guess that's a Street Fighter 5 kind of backdrop, because I don't recognize that from any of the other games. Um, then we got Kuma right here. Push that back a little bit. There we go. This one looks like it's a little bit smaller. This backdrop looks like it might be a little bit smaller than the uh, Air Force one that came with the Guile. I could be totally wrong. Um, instruction booklet, same thing as always. How to remove the head, how to remove the hands, how to build the little stand for the effects. All that stuff. Um, of course, we have Akuma himself. There's his effects that came out. Okay, so first, I'm going to go over the effects on this. Uh, right off the bat, we got some fire effects. Pretty cool. I like these. They pro uh, You just pop off the hands, put the uh, wrist joint in between that, pop the hand back on. There you go. Um, uh, they look like they're... Oh, they're not identical. They're actually different. That's pretty cool. I was expecting them to be, like, just damn near identical on that. I'm glad they're actually different. Um, I can appreciate that. Uh, that we actually got different effects, not just the same ones. Um, so, interesting thing, if you want to use this for his fist, pop it in there. If not, and you want the, like, the bigger effect, pop this in there. Boom, there you go. It's kind of like um, a much grander version of uh, when we get an Iron Man from Marvel Legends and the different beams can pop into each other. Uh, that's kind of what that is. So, cool. And then we have an alternate Gi. Uh, this is kind of, I believe this is like his, um, kind of like his, uh, the one when he kind of like powers up and the symbol flashes. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Um, we'll see which one he comes with, uh, and then kind of make that assumption. It's a very, um, easy to move rubber plastic. I like that. I like that it's not like a really thick, hard one. Yeah, this looks like it'd be pretty easy to get on and off, so cool with that. Um, and then we got... On the back there, the stand, you build that for the effects. Uh, I'm not going to build that. This video would be too long if I had to show my ineptitude in building a stand. Uh, so now we can get to a lot of the good stuff with Akuma. We'll move him to the side for now. Of course, he's got alternate hands. We got kind of uh, the straightforward hands. We have... His kind of grabbing open hands. And then we have kind of a, another similar pair. These are more like a palm strike kind of hand, I think. Um, a little bit different, but very similar to the last ones. And then we have a yelling head. Uh, and just in case, if, if somebody doesn't know, this Akuma is already pretty close to what a regular Akuma is. Um, the only real difference is, um, I think like the kind of power up stuff that kind of is flowing through his body. I think the color on his wraps and his sandals is a little bit different, but the biggest difference mainly is the hair color. Usually his hair is like a red. When he goes into Shinakuma, uh, in Street Fighter V, it goes white. Um, so I'm look. I, I'd like, I'd still like to find a regular one. Maybe, uh, somebody could customize a head and it would look as good um but yeah there's that uh first alternate head we have like a grimacing teeth head cool that is it on there and now we can get into akuma himself uh so he has like a plastic thing around him Oh boy, this is reminding me of the uh, AEW stuff I didn't want to have to deal with, with peeling off plastics. The good news is, is I think I can just 
tear this one right off. Yep, there we go. Okay. So here we have our Akuma. Let's see how hard he is. He's wearing like sandals, which um, I don't think are removable. They might be. I'm not going to risk it. They might be. Um, so let's see how we can get him. Same thing as the Storm Collectibles before. Yeah, there you go. Just right off the bat, the Gi is different. So this is like his... Uh, uh, when he does his move and he turns around and it flashes. So there you go. I always forget the name of the move. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to try to act like I know it. Um, I always forget. Uh, he is a little bit harder to stand, I think, because of these um, sandals. So I'm trying to kind of get him worked into like a solid standing position here. He is difficult to stand with these sandals, I'm not going to lie. Because he doesn't have traditional shoes or boots like Guile. Um, so it's kind of hard for him to just like stand. That's a little disappointing. Um, but there we go. Same as the other Storm Collectibles. His waist piece is like a rubber. Um, everything else is plastic. And then the torso is like a rubber. So you're getting more of that like bendable movement. Uh, which is pretty cool. There's his normal head that he comes with. Just a stern kind of standard face. Um, and then he has his uh, beads, his necklace. These do stretch. I, that feels kind of like it would just break. So I, I wouldn't mess with that too much probably. Um, I'm trying to get him to stand still. There we go. No. So I'm not going to lie, I'm very disappointed with like the way the sandals are working here. They do not help with his standing at all. Um, I thought it would be a little bit more, I thought it would kind of work like the shoes. It'd be easy for him to kind of stand there, but he just doesn't want to. And that's um kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they keep leaning them back, like, because it's just like a soft rubber. And I guess, like, they just keep rolling with the way his foot kind of already is. Um, I mean, he'd probably stand better without the damn sandals on. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of hooked on that. That's disappointing. I was really... All the other Storm Collectibles I've ever gotten have stood so well. Um, and I don't know if it's just because these sandals are such a soft rubber that they don't want to kind of just stay in place. Um... But either way, um, I think it's, uh, I mean, now he kind of is, but I had to like really straighten out his legs and he looks weird. Um, regardless, uh, I think everything about this figure looks pretty damn good. I like the accessories. I like the extra gi. Um, I like the whole look. But yeah, points off because like these sandals are not conducive for him to for him to stand. That sucks. I'm just gonna outright say it. That sucks. Um, yeah, he'll stand now, but like I said, he's kind of like weirdly straight up like that. Um, that's like the only way I could kind of get him to finally stand. Um, I don't know how that would affect a lot of your other posability, but I imagine it's gonna be difficult. Um, and uh, it, it does. That kind of stinks because all my other Storm Collectibles I've gotten so far stand so well and this one doesn't. Um, and it's because of those sandals. Maybe if these weren't such a soft plastic but a hard plastic, uh, you could kind of like place them into a, a position a little easier. Um, but this is kind of the only way I've been able to get them to stand and it just doesn't look right because there's not a whole lot of posability going on there. Um, but beyond that, that's that's going to be it for the Akuma. I mean, it's, it's, it's Akuma if you've ever seen him in a game. That's it. The only difference is this one's got the different color scheme because he's in his, like, his kind of uh, ascended form, his shin form with the white hair and the different kind of color palette going. Um, I still would like to get the original one. Um, maybe that one stands better. I don't know. Uh, have to find out. But, yeah, I I'm disappointed in the way he stands. Um, that sucks. Um, 
I always, uh, you know, I kind of take a pride in giving a pretty straight answer on what I think of figures. I like everything about this one, except that he can't stand very well. Um, and like I said, that sucks. So uh, that's going to be it for this one. Our next one, you know, we're going to look at Sagat, uh, my favorite character in Street Fighter. Um, I've had a pretty good track record up until now with no real issues or dislikes of any of these toys. Um, like I said, this one, the standing thing is annoying me. Uh, hopefully Sagat doesn't have anything like that. So we'll get to that and, uh, I'll catch you guys in that video.